Hello, young scholars. We are continuing our discussion of the Industrial Revolution. We are looking at changes in communication or improvements in communication. The two biggest inventions during this time was in 1830, Samuel Morris develops the telegraph. And 46 years later, Alexander Graham Bell develops the first telephone. He actually makes the first call on March 7th, 1876. So the anniversary of that is, is uh, just passed. Uh, in class, we will take a look at Samuel Morris's telegraph and the inspiration behind it. It's a great story, a really compelling piece of, of American history uh, that kind of humanizes uh, one of the inventors of the Industrial Age. Alexander Graham Bell built off of Samuel Morris's telegraph to develop a device where people could speak one-on-one uh, -on -one rather than over, uh, over a wire or a dots and dashes. So... How Samuel Morris operated his, his code was um, obviously you would have to have uh, poles and cables set up and a trans a uh, operator would be on one end and an operator would be on the other end and they would transmit messages back and forth using a series of dots and dashes that would communicate a message. The code would then have to be deciphered, transcribed, and then sent out. Kind of a cumbersome process, but in the 1800s, 1830s, 40s, 50s, 60s, that was a pretty productive way of communicating. Uh, President Abraham Lincoln used the telegraph um, to communicate with his generals during the Civil War. And one of the reasons why a lot of people think the North had a advantage over the South was because they had better uh, communication devices than the South did. Another improvement in communication is Guglielmo Marconi. In 1895, he develops the telegraph, okay, the wireless telegraph, more importantly. So throughout, hopefully you're seeing the theme that throughout history, inventors are trying to develop something more practical and more useful. And to that end, things are made smaller and faster. And in this, in this day and age, it's communication, you know. Voicemail may be obsolete simply because people aren't using it. Because if you need to get a hold of someone, very simply, you send them a text message. It's direct and it's immediate. Uh, while the telephone was taking off in 18, uh, 1876, or excuse me, 1886, it's still not economically viable. So Guglielmo Marconi comes up with the, tele with the wireless telegraph in 1895. This photograph was actually taken aboard a ship in 1912. You can see in the background, there is uh, the wireless device on the wall. And this photograph was taken, the last known photograph on board. That's right, the Titanic. That was the wireless operator, Harold Bride, uh, sending out personal messages. And after the Titanic hit the iceberg in April of 1912, they sent out the three dots, three dashes, three dots message, which was the SOS message. Other improvements in communication and technology, you can just put this in your notes, uh, was Michael Faraday develops the Dynamo in 1831, giving people a little bit more power. This is going to be a precursor to uh, power and electricity. And additionally, you have Thomas Edison from New Jersey in 1879 developing the light bulb. And the story of the light, the first light bulb is a great one. Edison was very fierce and very competitive of his invention. He needed investors, people to uh, give him money so he could fund his uh, experiments. And we'll talk a little bit more about him in depth as well because the story of how he develops the first light bulb is very, very competitive um, in that regard. If you feel that we went too quickly, um, please just watch this video again. It's a quick little clip on improvements in communication. And in class, we'll also be talking about another one of Thomas Edison's inventions, which is the phonograph record and recorded sound. And you'll be able to hear the first ever recording on a record, which was Mary Had a Little Lamb. And this was Edison's early phonograph record. So we'll talk a little bit more of that in class later this week. All right, watch the video again. Make sure you have the notes for improvements in communication.